Have you ever pondered over the unsolved mystery of the Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappearance? It's a question that has captivated the world for nearly a decade. A chilling puzzle that remains unsolved. Today, we delve into the enigma, the story of the vanished Flight 370. On the fateful day of March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, a scheduled international passenger flight, vanished into thin air. On board were 227 passengers and a crew of 12, each one of them unwittingly stepping into an abyss of uncertainty. The aircraft took off from Kuala Lumpur, destined for Beijing. But barely an hour into the flight, it disappeared from radars, leaving a trail of questions in its wake. An unprecedented international search operation was launched, spanning the South China Sea, the Indian Ocean, and beyond. Despite the relentless effort, the plane remained elusive. Debris was discovered, yes, but the main wreckage, the very heart of the mystery, remains hidden to this day. Millions of dollars were poured into the search, with nations uniting in the face of this common enigma. Yet the fate of Flight 370, its passengers and crew, remains shrouded in uncertainty. In the aftermath, theories arose, some grounded in fact, others in conjecture. From terrorism to hijacking, from technical failure to pilot suicide, from government cover-ups to extraterrestrial intervention, every possible angle was scrutinized. Yet no consensus emerged, no definitive answer was found, leaving a gaping hole in the annals of aviation history. As we delve deeper into this mystery, we will attempt to unravel the threads of the story, exploring the known facts, the conjectures, the theories, and the ongoing investigation that still seeks answers. We aim to shed light on this enduring mystery, to understand the puzzle that is Flight 370. Nine years on, the question still lingers. What happened to Flight 370? As we journey through this tale of mystery and intrigue, perhaps together, we can inch closer to the truth. The official narrative presents a conclusion, but does it answer all the questions? The disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, on the 8th of March 2014, is one of the most baffling mysteries of the modern world. This enigma has puzzled investigators, journalists, and the general public alike, with the official narrative providing some answers, but also leaving many questions unanswered. The official account begins with the flight's takeoff from Kuala Lumpur, destined for Beijing, with 239 souls on board. Not long into the journey, the aircraft mysteriously vanished from radar screens, marking the beginning of a saga that would captivate the world's attention. In the weeks and months that followed, a multinational search effort was launched, one of the largest and most expensive in aviation history. Despite these extensive efforts, the whereabouts of the aircraft remained unknown, with only a few pieces of debris washing up on shores thousands of miles from the supposed crash site. The Malaysian government eventually declared the flight's fate as an accident in the Indian Ocean, stating that the plane had ended its journey there. This conclusion was based on data analysis and the few pieces of debris that had been found, but without the recovery of the main wreckage this conclusion was met with skepticism and criticism. The key question remained unanswered. Where was the main wreckage of Flight 370? The lack of definitive evidence has left room for speculation and doubt, fueling various theories about the flight's fate. Despite the official narrative, many have questioned the conclusions drawn by the authorities. The absence of the wreckage has led to the questioning of the official narrative, with critics arguing that without the physical evidence of the plane it is impossible to definitively state what happened to it. The official narrative is just that, a narrative. It is an account constructed from the available evidence but it is not without its gaps and uncertainties. The lack of the main wreckage and the absence of a clear explanation for the plane's sudden disappearance have led to a myriad of theories, each attempting to fill the gaps left by the official account. In essence, the official narrative presents a conclusion, the plane ended its journey in the Indian Ocean. But without the main wreckage this conclusion is incomplete. The definitive evidence, the physical proof of the plane's fate, remains elusive. This absence of evidence has fueled speculation and given rise to various theories about the fate of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. Yet the definitive evidence, the main wreckage, remains elusive, fueling various theories. As we delve deeper into this mystery, we'll examine some of these theories that have emerged in the wake of the plane's disappearance. Each theory attempts to answer the questions left unanswered by the official narrative, offering alternative explanations for the flight's fate. 
In the absence of irrefutable evidence, numerous conspiracy theories have emerged. This marks the beginning of our deep dive into the labyrinth of speculation and conjecture that surrounds the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. Let's begin with the category of terrorism. The immediate aftermath of the plane's disappearance saw numerous speculations around potential terrorist involvement. Given the global climate at the time, this theory quickly gained traction. Some pointed to two passengers who boarded the plane using stolen passports, raising the possibility of a malicious intent. Interpol identified them as Iranian nationals, seemingly on a journey to seek asylum in Europe. However, no links to terrorist organizations were found and this theory, while initially sensational, lost its credibility over time. Another terrorism-related theory suggested a suicide mission by the pilot or co-pilot. This was fueled by reports that pilot Zahari Ahmad Shah had a flight simulator at home and had plotted a similar course to the one MH370 is believed to have taken. Skeptics argue that the presence of a flight simulator is not uncommon among aviation enthusiasts, and that the plotted course was just one among many on the simulator. No concrete evidence of suicidal tendencies or affiliations with any extremist groups was found for either the pilot or the co-pilot. Moving on we delve into the realm of hijacking theories. Some proposed that the plane was hijacked for use in a later terrorist attack. This theory was bolstered by reports that the plane's communication systems were manually turned off, suggesting that whoever was in control had a deep knowledge of the aircraft's systems. However, the absence of any subsequent attacks using the plane, along with the lack of any group claiming responsibility, has led to this theory being largely dismissed. Another hijacking theory was that of a rogue passenger, or even a crew member taking control of the aircraft. This theory was based on the assumption that someone with sufficient knowledge could have potentially disabled the aircraft's communication systems and flown it off course. However, the lack of any evidence pointing to a specific individual and the absence of any motive has left this theory in the realm of speculation. The final category of conspiracy theories involves the potential involvement of foreign powers. The most notable among these theories is the suggestion of American involvement. Some theorists proposed that the United States shot down the plane fearing a terrorist attack similar to 9-11, while others suggested that it was hijacked and flown to the U.S. military base on the island of Diego Garcia, in the Indian Ocean. These theories however lack any substantial evidence and have been categorically dismissed by the U.S. government. Other theories in this category involve Russian and Chinese involvement. The theory of Russian involvement suggests that the plane was hijacked by Russian special forces and flown to Kazakhstan as a show of strength amidst the geopolitical tension at the time. The theory involving China suggests that the Chinese government shot down the plane mistaking it for a potential military threat. These theories, while intriguing, are purely speculative and lack any substantial evidence. Each theory, no matter how outlandish, represents a desperate attempt to make sense of the baffling disappearance. In the absence of solid facts and concrete evidence, the human mind seeks to fill in the gaps, often in ways that reflect our fears and anxieties. As we continue to search for the truth we must remain open to all possibilities yet cautious of unfounded speculation. The story of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 is a tragic reminder of the vast and unpredictable nature of our world and the enduring human desire to understand it. Despite the passage of time the search for answers continues, as the years roll on, the story of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 refuses to fade into the annals of history. Instead, it continues to captivate the minds of journalists, family members, and independent investigators who tirelessly seek the truth behind this unsolved mystery. In the heart of this ongoing investigation, we find an amalgamation of dedication, hope, and an unquenchable thirst for answers. Journalists worldwide armed with their pens and notebooks relentlessly probe into the intricate details of the case. Their investigations range from in-depth interviews with aviation experts to challenging official narratives and debunking or supporting various conspiracy theories. Their work, published across various media platforms, keeps the conversation alive, ensuring that the mystery of Flight 370 remains in the public consciousness. Family members of those on board Flight 370 have also been at the forefront of this ongoing investigation. Their quest is not just fueled by the need for closure, but also by the desire to ensure that their loved ones are not forgotten. They continue to pressure authorities for answers, organize public vigils, and even conduct their own independent research. 
Their unwavering determination serves as a poignant reminder of the personal tragedies intertwined with the disappearance of Flight 370. Independent investigators, too, have a vital role to play. These are individuals and groups who, driven by a sense of justice or intellectual curiosity, delve into the mystery of Flight 370. Their methods vary widely, from analyzing satellite data to studying ocean currents and wind patterns. Despite facing significant challenges such as limited access to official data and resources, their contributions have often shed new light on the case, sparking fresh debates and discussions. One significant development in the ongoing investigation is the recent release of the Netflix docuseries titled MH370, The Plane That Disappeared. This series dives deep into the story of the missing plane, featuring interviews with scientists, reporters, and family members of the victims. The docuseries has not only brought the mystery of Flight 370 back into the limelight, but has also reignited public interest in the case. It has spurred renewed debates and discussions, prompting viewers to question the official narratives and consider the various conspiracy theories afresh. The docuseries is particularly noteworthy for its focus on the 153 Chinese nationals on board the ill-fated flight, their families still grappling with the loss and longing for answers, hope that the series will keep the conversation alive about the flight's disappearance. As viewers tune in from across the globe, the story of Flight 370 is retold, remembered, and scrutinized once more. As we navigate through the labyrinth of this ongoing investigation, it's clear that the search for the truth behind the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 is far from over. The quest for answers continues to inspire journalists, investigators and family members to keep digging, to keep questioning, and to keep the memory of Flight 370 alive. In a world that often rushes to the next big news story, the enduring interest in Flight 370 is a testament to the power of unresolved mysteries and the human capacity for hope and perseverance. As the search for answers continues, so does the conversation around this enigmatic flight. Every discussion, every theory, and every piece of investigative journalism keeps the memory of Flight 370 alive and underscores the global desire for closure and understanding. The quest for truth persists, keeping the memory of Flight 370 alive. As the world continues its journey around the sun, we are reminded that the search for Flight 370 is not just about finding a missing plane. It's a testament to our collective pursuit of truth, our resilience in the face of adversity, and our shared humanity. The disappearance of Flight 370 has spawned a multitude of theories, but which holds water? The unsolved mystery of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 has been the subject of countless discussions and debates, leading to a myriad of theories. From the official narrative to the most far-fetched conspiracies, each theory carries with it a weight of speculation and inquiry. The official narrative, backed by the Malaysian government and international experts, suggests the plane ended its journey in the Indian Ocean. Despite this, the lack of a definitive crash site and the sporadic recovery of debris have led many to question this account. Among the conspiracy theories one of the most prevalent suggests a hijacking. This theory is bolstered by the fact that the plane's communication systems were manually disabled and the aircraft made several unscheduled turns before disappearing off radar. However without substantial evidence it remains a speculation. Other theories propose more sensational explanations, such as the involvement of the United States or even suggestions of extraterrestrial interference. While these theories may capture the imagination, they often lack the necessary supporting evidence to be considered plausible. Then there are the ongoing investigations, undertaken by dedicated journalists, scientists and most importantly the families of the victims. Their tireless efforts have kept the conversation alive, continually seeking the truth behind this tragic event. In the world of unsolved mysteries, the disappearance of Flight 370 continues to captivate and confound us. The enigma of Flight 370's disappearance remains one of the greatest mysteries in aviation history. It's a story that continues to intrigue us and push us to seek answers. It's a testament to the indomitable human spirit, a spirit that refuses to rest until the truth is uncovered. As we continue to delve into such mysteries, let's not forget to honor and respect the memories of those who were lost on that fateful flight. Remember, history is full of fascinating stories waiting to be discovered. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, History Facts, for more intriguing tales from the past.